everybody. Uh, today I'm going to help you guys figure out how to get your uh, Starbound server up and running. Seems like a lot of people are having some difficulties. Uh, there's a, a couple ways that you can do this. You can either host a server by either port forwarding, going into your router settings, or an easier method would be to use uh, the Hamashi way. Uh, there's plenty of guides out there. If you don't know how to do that, uh, just find a guide online and I'll be able to help you out. One of the main things that you need to do when getting yourself started with a server in Starbound is you need to go to where your game is installed. Um, if you bought the game on Steam, you want to go to where your Steam folder is. Click open Steam. Then you want to go to Steam Apps, Common, and then there's Starbound right there. And then you want to go to Assets. In this Assets page, there's going to be a a lot of folders and files. You're going to scroll down to you see something that says default configuration dot config and you're going to want to right click it. I use uh, notepad plus plus. That's how I'm able to access it and be able to, to edit the files inside. Let's make this a little bigger so we can see what's going on. Now mine's been changed a little bit but we see here there's a lot of different options that we have that we can change. There's a host name, uh, there's maximum players, there's the port. If you're doing port forwarding, uh, these are the ports. This is the port that you're going to want to open so other people can access uh, your server. Uh, a big issue is uh, the passwords. The passwords usually come as a default. There's three different passwords that can automatically, that automatically come when you first install the game. Uh, I personally just delete those because with Hamachi only my friends can join my server, so they have to be connected to my to my IP. Um, so mainly the biggest issue here is just to go into that setting and to be able to just delete those delete those passwords. Uh, typically they're right here. I deleted them as you can see. You're going to want to just exit that, and then nice thing about Starbound is it's pretty easy. It automatically uses your your external IP address. So you're going to want to load up Starbound like this. You're going to want to launch your Starbound server. That's going to open up a window like this right here. That's going to take quite a bit to load up for the first time. And then give that a little bit. And then you're going to want to load up the game. I've got the game loaded up here. I'm in my server. Just for security's sake, I didn't want to show up my IP or anything like that. But you can tell that I am in a multiplayer server because I have this add button right here. So I'm able to invite my friends. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below and hit that like button. Much be appreciated. All right, thank you.